Hi everyone, this is a general reading. It's meant for whoever it resonates for. All zodiac signs, regardless of your zodiac signs. Uh, if you were drawn to it by the title, only take from it what uh, you know for sure and you feel confident is meant for you. Because it is a general reading for more than one, a collective reading. I did do a meditation what come out in my meditations, the energies, we've got main lady, mm, main focus, it's main focus, but then we got travel, let's get lost, fall in love and let's get lost together with a gift, gift. Here's a small token of my love. Mm. But when the person's energy, when I pulled uh, cards and meditated on the person's energy, we've got a young emperor in reverse on his head. Yes. <laughs> and what's crossing his energy is the moon, a, a pattern or a phase, um, something they're doing over and over very non-committal most of the time when the two of wands that young emperor is upright they're confident they're sure about what they're doing it's only a temporary pause but across that threshold out in that world that they're getting ready to step into they have confidence and surety of their domain i belong here this is the direction i'm going in i'm co fully committed to it he's on his head he's not committal Mm -mm, non-committal but look at the energy he's coming at us with uh, and it's probably again this would be saying what really popped for me off the cards was the gift card i was like oh nice when it first come out and then all of a sudden the word small token of love popped off that card for me and i'm like oh okay that's like a breadcrumb it's like somebody breadcrumbing us, um, trying to convince us we're the main focus. We're, we are the one, the emperor. I know you are the one for me, but he's on his head about it. Yeah. And it's like, let's get drunk, fall in love. Let's get away from something. I want to get you away from something uh, with these small little tokens that I keep bringing back to you. Mm hmm and I'm feeling like you are you are definitely starting to pick up because the one thing uh, I kept seeing when when I was sitting and uh, looking at the cards was Libra Libra the justice the major arcana justice card um, coming to my mind and when when that happens that's like a love a verdict you're trying you're weighing out uh, what's going on and you're trying to choose something bring something into balance so let's find a little bit of your energy right now we've got an ace of wands mm -hmm. the person most definitely uh, they're playing they definitely playing on our heart and that queen of cups energy is emotions but fire fire so they may have us uh, swooning a little bit or in the past these breadcrumbs would have worked on us we would have got a little bit drunk and we would have been like oh god it's a it's a token of love but we were overlooking it, the fact that now we're probably sitting in the energy looking back going that was nothing but a breadcrumb i don't want breadcrumb i want the whole loaf i want somebody that can commit and they're they're coming across as you are my main focus you are my main love you are the one but you're starting to wake up to the fact that their their actions their behaviors what they're doing is not matching the words the those um lovey dovey words that they keep coming across with uh and the attitudes that they're showing up with is smallness Let's see a little bit more here yeah we're getting tired we're starting to get some clarity on things uh this is a rest in the battle it's like i need a breather uh-huh to get my thoughts straight because emotions are being played on but also think of the fire energy the passion the magnetic pull we have towards them and they're playing on something they know we want and what what are we wanting from it commitment just commitment somebody that knows and chooses chooses you uh the way you're choosing them and this person is not choosing 
uh, the way you're choosing them. I'm going to find out a little bit more about their energy. Let's switch off decks here. I want to see a little bit more about what's going on with them. Mm. Got old school, old fashioned thinking, takes dating seriously, takes things slow, slow. I don't, I don't really think this person really is old school like that. I, I think they try to put off the image of they take things very serious, that they're serious about things. When in actuality, that young emperor is standing on his head. <laughs> Yes, the, the image they're putting out to us, what they're trying to feed us about themselves is not so true. And I think we're waking up to see that because what come out with it? A player playing the field, refusing to commit grass is greener syndrome. Uh, I don't think they're as old school as they would like other people to think they are. That's more of an image they put off. Mm, got regrets, feeling guilty, remorseful, wanting to undo damage, coming in on the small token. Uh, they, It's like I said, they may disappear. They may um, be out playing. I don't know how else to put it. And then show back up because um, they they pulled on our heartstrings, guys. And and as much as I hate saying it, they're not they're not finding somebody that is actually authentic with with their heart the way that you are. Um, but I think you're waking up to the fact you've got to what make a final decision on this, a permanent ending, no more chances, goodbye to the old. Uh huh. But I think we give this person a lot of chances with the moon. Uh, that moon card is, you know, go, just going in the dark. Um, but it's also cycles, guys. Somebody keeps repeating something, uh, and and leaves us in the dark, literally groping around in the dark. Uh, but we've given them chances, a lot of chances, and this is showing <clears throat> we're reaching a point of I need to make my own decision. They're not making a decision, and I'm going to call you out, guys. I really am going to call you out because you've been way too passive. You put yourself on the back burner. You put yourself in a waiting mode for someone to come around, which has you doing what? The same thing. Standing on your head, the young emperor that stands, or empress, guys, it's not, it's not gender, it's energy, it's not your confidence of, you're not making a decision for yourself, you keep waiting for someone else to change something about them, so you can move on, you know, move forward into a vision, you've got to make a final decision. Uh, especially the fact that Spirit kept bringing that justice card back into me. That is a verdict. You've got to, the judge's mallet, the hammer, you got to make that final decision and bring that hammer down and stick to it and make yourself stick to it because this person is literally uh, wreaking havoc on you on an emotional, mental, and probably physical level all the way around. Mm, reconciliation guys want to work things out they will return there's unfinished business this is what we are sitting caught in ourselves that we're not making a decision about it's not about what they're doing guys is pay attention what are what's happening with you what are you allowing into your life in your bubble right now because you don't deserve you do not deserve to put yourself on hold. Uh, you're probably blocking, in all truthfulness, a real love, someone that wants to commit, that will be standing at young emperor to a wands energy with you and actually invest more than breadcrumbs. The small token will be very valuable. And every time they bring a token to you, it gets bigger and bigger into... The full damn life. They throw it all out there to you. Uh, I, I'm, I know you are my world. You are my future, my destiny. Not somebody that keeps bringing you tiny little tokens to make up for leaving you sitting and waiting. Not somebody that's trying to throw an illusion of, oh, old school, I take things very serious. They've done some damage. 
And when you make that final decision and you, you use that judge's mind, they're going to have a lot of regrets. They're going to have a lot of regrets because it's like I said, it's coming out that they can't find someone else that has a heart as authentic as yours. Uh, other people are reading their energy because yeah, anybody new is not going to invest into them. We, we invested some into them and we've spent some time in waiting. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. Let's pull the... Um, Let's get the Romance Angel Oracles real quick. Let's see what's going on with that. And y'all forgive, I got my little Miss Daisy today. My son's puppy dog, and she's barking. They all barking. <laughs> Let's see what will come out with these. Mm. This one first. That one. Ooh, two of them. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Mm. Calling in your soulmate. Mm, your prayers, affirmations, wow, bringing you together. But you've got to make a decision soon. Clearly decide what it, what you want so that it comes to you now. And separations on the horizon, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Guys, this is mm, wedding, wanting a commitment, soulmate calling in. What did I just say about you're blocking, you're probably blocking the one, the real emperor that is gung-ho about let me come in. Look, let's pull it back here. Let's pull it back here. Let's switch because we're bringing in someone that's on the sideline wanting to come in at you. And we can read from the same cards, you're their main focus. They want to pull you away from something they're not sure about. Uh, you've knocked, you're knocking their confidence if they're standing on the sideline of being able to approach you or not. Because it would be someone that knows a little bit about someone else's. Who's this? Who's this? Yeah. They, they would know, which is not their confidence, but they're not going anywhere. They're totally not going anywhere until they're clear about what is happening with you. The moon card leaves someone in the dark. They're not sure about uh, the reciprocity if they were to approach you right now because they're probably seeing all of this down here. Uh, you being tied up emotionally, um, mentally, the fire energy with this. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You need to make a final decision for real because you've got a soulmate. Your want of a commitment, your want of this true commitment, a true bond with someone. The universe has heard you, but it's going to require you to separate yourself from the one that is not the one the universe was bringing in to you. Hopefully that makes sense. You're blocking yourself. Mm -hmm. You block in. Just don't do that. Um, hold on. I wanted to do, let's do text messages. Let's go back to um, the person you're dealing with. The one you keep trying to make this final decision on that you're holding out hope that they will commit to you. Let's see some text, text or messages. Uh, see what's going to come out for you. We've got, not going to lie, commitment scared me. Mm -hmm. Anything else for that one? Anyone, anything else for that person? Yeah. It hurts seeing you love someone else. It hurts seeing you love someone else. Ooh. Just now, guys, uh, when the, the next person in line, the one the universe is bringing into you, uh, the person that played around, with the bread crumbing and all that, the regrets, they'll be seeing it. Being with you taught me a lot. Being with you taught me a lot. Wow. Okay. Guys, now I like I like seeing this because it's an indication of the probability of your final decision that opens a doorway for some real, real love coming your way. I love seeing that. It's the probability of it, guys. I can't, you know, cards, divination does not guarantee anything because we have free will. But I'm really hoping it's your free will of, I'm going to 
open up to some real love and not someone that's going to breadcrumb me. Let's see what your higher self wants to bring out on this right now. Some divine guidance for you right now on this one. My tribe, my beautiful tribe. Y'all stay strong on this one. We've got happiness. Positive energy is flowering around you and within you. Staying optimistic. There's a lot of good coming your way. Yes. Open yourself up to open the doorway. The option for the other young emperor on his head <laughs> or her head. Open the doorway for them because they're not going anywhere. The other one's not going anywhere either. They're not going to commit. This one wants to commit. And they're going to stick it out and watch as long as they can till they're clear of, yes, this is my domain. And they're going to step over that threshold. We've got frozen stagnation will soon pass. Use it as a vehicle for self-development and increase your personal power. Let's go for one more here. Divine guidance. Pop. Family. Surround yourself by the people you love and let it be your circle of strength. Ooh, circle of strength. Mmm. -hmm. Absolutely. Distract yourself uh, when when you're trying to make that final decision with people that love you. Mm -hmm. Hidden blessings. I went one more. Y'all know what. Things are not always what they seem. You'll soon realize that it all worked out for your highest good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like I said, you, uh, look, bottom of the deck, guys. Bam. <laughs> decisions if you take too long to decide worries ego and limiting beliefs and the options or the opinions of others will begin to creep in opinions of others the judges my guys just do it just make a final decision i'm i deserve more than effing little small tokens of love and little breadcrumbs of love i want the universe is going to bring you what it is you truly asking for, desiring. If you will make the free will decision, the judge is mallet, bam, bring it down, open the door for the other person to come in. Oh, I hope it was helpful, guys. I'm sending y'all love and light. Bless V.